Here's how to schedule with Music One LE. You've already created your categories, your clocks, and your day formats, and now you're ready to go. Open the View menu and select Music Logs. A small window appears with the day and dates of your past logs. Open the File menu and select New. A window appears and the day format you have entered as the default clock lineup for this day of the week is selected. If you want, you can use a different clock lineup on this day. You can select any of the ones you've created. Click OK and a new skeleton log will be loaded. When the day format is loaded, click the Start button and scheduling begins. Now remember, Music One is the interactive music scheduler and what that means is Music One was designed to let you make your log edits and music flow adjustments during the scheduling run, rather than having the software schedule the entire day and then making your adjustments afterwards, which is the way all the other music schedulers were designed to do it. This interactive system delivers the most consistent and reliable song rotations that have ever come out of a computer and here's how it works. Music One makes multiple passes through the day, scheduling one category completely from midnight through 11 p.m. before proceeding to the next category, finishing with that one, and then on to the next category. Music One will never break one of your formatting rules. Instead, when it finds a slot where it can't schedule a song without violating one of your rules, it stops to let you make the decision about what to do. Here, it stops in the 11 p.m. hour. These little boxes across the top of the screen show you which hour you're in. Music One has found a problem with my power category here at about 40 past the hour. That's the category with the yellow highlighting. The card stack for the category appears down below. We also call this the search depth or the selections list. Most times there will be several songs at the top of the category card stack and all of them with a rule violation or a rule problem. In this case, there's only one song remaining to be scheduled in the power category before Music One turns that card stack over and begins scheduling again from the top of the power category list. And this song by the group No Doubt violates my female rule. I've told Music One to allow no more than four female songs in the hour, and there are already four of them scheduled. I can switch to my gender view and see where they are. Blue for boys, pink for girls. Now I switch back to my regular view. In this case, I decide to override the rule and allow five female songs in this hour. So I click the Select button and No Doubt is scheduled in that slot. Now I click the Continue button and Music One goes on scheduling and looking for another problem to show me. Each time it stops, it will show me one or more songs down in the Search Depth window. We also call this the Selections window. You'll see Title and Artist and on the right, the rule or rules that would be violated if the song were to be scheduled in that selected slot on the clock. We have code names to tell you which rule is which, and you'll learn our shorthand for code violations pretty quickly once you begin to work with the software. In this case, it says Artist 1022. That means there's another song by this artist, Train, scheduled at 1022, and that's last hour. See the 11 a.m. box at the top of the screen is highlighted. That's the hour that we're looking at here. I've told Music One to separate songs by this artist by at least one hour, and the last train song was scheduled at 10.22 a.m., and that's less than an hour ago. For demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and override the rule and drop the song into this slot and continue scheduling. When every slot has been scheduled, Music One will give you the option to either save the log or continue to edit. If you continue to edit, you can click through the hours of the day and make adjustments as you choose. The midnight hour here is a little underscheduled. It just happened that it got a number of short songs this hour, and we have some white space at the end of the hour to show me. If I click ahead a few hours, I see that my 3 a.m. hour is a bit overscheduled. It has 64 minutes worth of content in it. The final song overflows the clock and appears over on the left side of the screen. Now, this is not necessarily a problem. Many music directors overschedule their hours on purpose. But here's an example of one kind of adjustment you can make. I'll take one song from this hour, let's get a short one, Inside Out by Eve, and move it to the midnight hour, which was underscheduled. I left click on the song title and hold my mouse button down, and then I drag the song up to the midnight hour box. And I release the button, and now I click on the midnight hour box again to jump to that hour, and there is the song by Eve pasted to the end of the hour. If I want, I can drag the song to a different position in the hour. And there you have it, a quick look at the basic functions of interactive scheduling the Music One way.